this is Jeanette from Happy Spots and Ink Spots and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the new Whiff of Joy dies in your cuddle bug machine. Now these dies will work in other machines as well but I'll be focusing on how to use them in the cuddle bug. We have quite a few um, dies but I'll be just focusing on two today. So the first one will be the pennant die. Looks like that. And I have a couple of examples to show you. So there's this card here. You see I've used it, and um, up here as well, I've used it. And the other die I'll be showing you is the fancy shape die, which looks like this. And it coordinates with the Seasons Greetings uh, sentiment set from Whiff of Joy. So you get a variety of sentiments plus the outline um, in the set. Um, different ways you can use the uh, fancy shape would be to um, add stickles around the side. In this one, I simply sponged around and I cut a second shape out and cut it in half this way so I was able to make a little mat for the top and the bottom. And um, in this one here, I emboss the sentiment and the um, outline. Okay, so you're going to notice that when you get your tags, there's a little matching sort of plastic thingy with it. Don't throw these away. Um, this is what's going to help you align your, your die. So I'm going to use some craft cardstock and some vintage photo distress ink and what you do is you put your sentiment first. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab, if you have, the um, stamp -a jig because this is going to let you put the outline correctly around your sentiment. So you're going to stamp it first on your imaging sheet like that and then you're going to be able to then figure out how to place it. And then you'll just stamp it over top. Okay. So I'm going to move these aside now. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take this plastic and you're going to say it says this side up. So you're going to listen, you're going to put that side up. And just as soon as you've got it so that it's centered, you're going to take a pencil and in these two little holes on either side, you're going to mark with the pencil. You're going to see that the die has the exact same holes, so that's going to help you align. Okay, so now we're going to cut out our shape with the die. So you're going to have your cuddle bug open. You're going to add your A plate and your B plate. You are going to add your stamp sentiment. You're going to take your die, and if you look, one side of the die has this sort of raised line on it, and the other side is flat. So you're going to lay down the raised edge facing downwards. That's actually what's going to be cutting um, your sentiment out or your, your tag out. You're going to align these two holes with the dots that you created earlier with the pencil. Then you're going to put the C plate on and then you're just going to run the whole thing through your cuddle bug. And what you're left with is a perfectly cut out little, little sentiment, little tag. It's, it's that easy. Okay, so now we're going to um, cut out using the pennant die. And you're going to be using the exact same sandwich which is your A plate 
followed by your B plate. You're going to put down um, some cardstock. And again, you're going to be putting the die so that the ridges are face down. You're going to add your C plate on top of that. And then just run it through. You see that it just pops out really easily. Then I'm going to lay down some pattern paper. And as you can see, this is something that will allow you to use up all your scraps of paper. You just need a little bit. So I'll put down my C plate and run that through. So I have my second piece like that. Then what I do with this piece is I just cut the little triangles off. and I adhere them onto my little cardstock. So it's like having a little mat. Just gives it a nice finished look. There, and then the third one. So there you have it. Um, that's how simple it is to use the dies. Um, I really hope this was helpful to you and this will encourage you to um, use these dies. They're a lot of fun to embellish your cards or your scrapbook pages with. Thanks for stopping by.